welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be shipping some snakes. So I'm just kind of catching up after uh, 4th of July weekend. Like I said, we had some friends over. So um, I didn't ship any last week because I was scared because of the holidays. So I have three snakes going out today. So I just got off work, just ran through the shower. So I work outside. It's hot. I'm about to die. It's about 93 degrees here right now. So um, I wait until I, in the afternoons to go to FedEx to drop my snakes off. So we're not too far from the hub. So I like to wait until last minute. Um, but yes, so I'm just going to show you everything, how I box up the snakes and get them ready for their new homes. Okay, so I get all my reptile supplies from Debbie at Reptiles to You. Um, the only boxes I have right now are the 7x7s. Seven I like using bigger boxes, but it's the only thing I have at the moment. I do ship all my animals to the little cryopats or the Phase 22 however you say it. Um, so I do always do that. I have one going to Atlanta, which is like two hours away. Um, I'm still going to put one in there just because $4 is worth it to me for, you know, the health of the, the animal. I usually let Craig build my boxes. I'm not too great to tape. selling is ID number and everything so I can trace it back um, and then I have the shipping label so let's go ahead and fill out the little birth certificate and I just think it's cute birth certificate or you know, whatever so let me get a pen and let's fill this out I have all the customers information right here on the shipping label I also always include a care sheet in my boxes so this particular person I do not know he very well could be one of the top breeders in Georgia I don't know um, I always just like to send it because maybe he doesn't need it but he might know someone that does and it's just like what I recommend um, what I'd like to see my babies like how I like for them to be housed temperatures um, you know stuff like that and again everybody is it's different. Everybody has different, um, you know, opinions on what their temperatures, ambient, hot spot, all that stuff. Again, I just want what's best for my animals and I know what works for me and I know what they're used to. 
So I just like put it in there. So in my box, I have the sales certificate, the invoice, and the ball python care sheet. Put that in the box. And I'm also going to put sticker and two business cards. So we're gonna get some paper towels, put in the bag. I'm gonna write down on the bag what animal is in here. I'm gonna go get my cryo pack out of the freezer. We're going to zip tie it to the chopper bin. We'll see. So those are good for the winter, and not the winter, um, but when it's not too, too terribly cold, it just kind of helps regulate the temp. Um, they're pretty awesome. It's totally worth $4, no matter how much the snake is that you're shipping. So this snake is a male, Inchi, Vanilla, Pastel, Spider. All right. We're still going through like the crazy COVID times where we have to buy the cheap paper towels. So. so this is the pastel, inchy, vanilla, spider. Double check, make sure it's a male. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so paper towels inside the bag. Get a little sip time. Tie my bag. Put a sip tie. All good and secure. Wrote what he is at the bottom of the bag. Gonna put some stuffing around him, make sure he's nice and comfortable. Put him in here. Craig's attaching the, the little pack here to the very top of the lid, and then we will put it on top here to make sure. I should have weighed him, but didn't. He's at 82 grams leaving, so a little smaller than I would like to ship out, um, but he's ready to go. He's never missed a meal. He's eight since his very first shed, actually next day after shed, which is kind of unusual for some hatchlings, that he, he took off pretty well. So I'm gonna put my shipping label and little protector seal here. All right, like so. So it's attached to the side here. It's the stuffing's right here and the snake's on the other side. So he is not touching the ice pack whatsoever. All right, so let's put the top on and he's good to go. And double check that. Okay. Packs on the side. Stuffing's right here. Put a little stuffing on the other side. Got the air holes on the side. Top on the box. I hate having this stuff like this. Right. Sell certificate. Stickers. 
and cards. Where did that tape go? Hold my box down. Good to go. Right. Right. This is the next one. It's the same exact animal, only it's a girl. Double check here. Stepping. 